How do you turn a seamless tile into seamless texture brushes for Procreate? Well, it actually starts out with a previous tutorial that teaches you how to make the tile. This tutorial teaches you how to make the brush, and then our next tutorial teaches you how to level up those patterns for products. For step two of our project, this tutorial, we're going to need the most recent version of Procreate along with Pattern Power, a freebie that you can download from my site at bit.ly forward slash from Liz, or you can just simply use the scan me code to get there. Three things before we start. We're going to be using a tile that we created in a previous step in tutorial one or step one of our project. Next, I would love to see your patterns, and if you'd like to share them, please share them at Instagram with the hashtag DigiWithLiz. Next, you can check your patterns to see if they're seamless at my site. Go to bit.ly forward slash check dash tile. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, we're back with our um, petal leafy tile project, and this is step two. We're going to turn these into brushes. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here in terms of our layers. Okay, we're not going to um, need this layer anymore, so I'm going to just go ahead and turn off the visibility of that one. And all of our colors are already separated out, which is perfect. Um, let's go ahead and select them and turn them into a group. And then I can create a duplicate of this group by gently sliding it over and tapping duplicate. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and make invisible the first uh, the first group. I like to keep the originals just in case I make a mistake. So, or I want to change something about it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make invisible all the layers here, except for this first layer, the gold layer here. And so let's go ahead and select that. And um, we are going to go over to our adjustment panel and hue and saturation, and we're gonna dial the saturation all the way down, just like that. And then we're gonna come over to our wrench and we're gonna select add and copy canvas. Then we're going to come over to our Pattern Power brushes. And what we have here are a variety of brushes that work with a variety of different canvas sizes. And the canvas sizes are for making uh, seamless, pattern, seamless patterns uh, with this particular brush and that particular canvas. But we're not actually doing that. That's step three. We're in step two and we really just want to make brushes that are seamless textures that work inside of Procreate as brushes. Um, so seamless patterns that are just Procreate brushes. So what we're going to do is choose this 26% uh, percent one because I want this to be pretty small and we're going to go ahead and duplicate it. So we're going to gently slide that over and tap duplicate. And now we already have a picture of this so um, we've copied it. So we're going to go ahead and tap this brush to open it. And this is the grain that needs replacing. So we'll tap grain, edit, import, and paste. Okay, and if it comes in like this, then just use two fingers to invert it just like that. And then when you're happy with that, go ahead and tap done. So let's go over to rendering really quickly and tap light glaze and see what that looks like. That looks kind of neat, honestly. Go ahead and tap done. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a duplicate of this particular brush um, because we're going to create our next brush and we want it to have the same settings. So let's go back to our layers and we're gonna make this layer invisible and we're gonna go to our green layer. And with the green layer selected, we're going to go over to Add, sorry, Adjustments, <laughs> Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, and then Saturation all the way down. And now we can go over to our wrench and add and copy canvas. And then we're going to go to that duplicate of the brush and we're going to tap it open, go to Grain, Edit, Import, and Paste, just like that. And done. And done. Okay, and then we're going to create a duplicate of the brush again. Okay, and we're moving on to our next color and our next layer, so the blue layer here. And with that blue layer selected, we're going to come over to Adjustments, Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, dial that saturation down, go over to our wrench, and then Copy Canvas. And so, once again, with this duplicate, we're going to tap it to open it, and go to Grain, Edit, Import, Paste, and we have our next set of shapes right there done and done. Okay, and one more to go here. Duplicate. Okay, and this time we're going to turn off the visibility of that one and we're going to our red just like that. Okay, and then we're going to come over to our hue saturation and just dial that down from our adjustments and then over to our wrench, add and copy canvas into that new copy and tap it open, grain, edit, oops, edit, import and paste. Okay, done. Awesome. And so now we have all of our brushes so done again. 
We have all of our brushes here and now it's time to test it to see that it's in fact a nice seamless pattern within Procreate when we're using our brushes together. So let's go ahead and create uh, let's, this, this new group. Let's go ahead and turn the visibility off and create a new layer on top here. And let's see for our new brush. Let's go ahead and go with let's go with similar colors this time instead of different colors. So let's go with a, a dark red like that. For the then we're going to start with our first brush there. And we're just going to go ahead and, ooh, that's kind of interesting. And then let's go with the lighter uh, red and the next brush. Okay, that's interesting too. Whoops, whoa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> definitely interesting. Okay, and then let's go with the next color red here and our next, sorry, our next brush right there. Okay, not much variation, but that's okay. You kind of like it. And then let's go with our brighter color for our very last brush here. Okay, I kind of like this, honestly. That's pretty cool. Okay, and so you can see that, in fact, our brushes inside of Procreate are, in fact, seamless. But this is not a seamless tile, and that's why we have step three. And just to show you what I mean by it's not seamless, uh, the brushes are, but this particular canvas is not a seamless tile. Um, let's go ahead and take a look in our pattern checker. So we're going to top, uh, tap the top bar of these, the ellipsis, those three dots, and select split view. And then we're going to go over to my uh, site, uh, digiartswithliz.com, and under tools, pattern checker, there's this nice page here, and it's just a two by two um, uh, block repeat so you can see what your patterns look like. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this pattern and just drop it in. And you can see, right along here. Like I said, the canvas, the, the brushes inside of Procreate are definitely seamless, but we don't have the right canvas size at this point. So we need to have the right canvas size. So right now you've got these really weird seams going on right here and right here. So definitely not a seamless tile. So let's go ahead and move on to step three. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope your day is amazing.